everyone, it's Sarah or Lovely Day back with another video and this one's going to be a little bit different so I apologize if you were hoping for a BJD related video this is not going to be one of those I'll be back with another BJD one soon but in the meantime if you are curious as to what this is about stick around and I will explain before I got into BJD's I collected cards <laughs> not just any cards it was the d gray man trading card game that really got me hooked if you don't know d gray man is an anime or manga series written by katsura hoshino i'll admit i'm quite out of the loop now i used to be very involved in the d gray man fandom but um yeah i kind of just drifted away from that don't get me wrong though it is still my favorite franchise of all time and if you remember the little yo sd doll i used to have his name was alan and and that was after the main character in D. Gray Man. Before I had this YouTube channel, I actually had another one just called Lovely. It's still up if you want to find it. On that channel, my main focus was Vice Schwartz, which is a trading card game of sorts. I actually really got into playing it. Yeah, it, it was a lot of fun and I loved that game to bits. Anyway, before I got into Vice, I collected these. Now, um, I don't half-ass things, so when I got into this trading card game, I really got into it. I bought a lot of cards. And the annoying thing was, I was late <laughs> to the game. So so it had been out for quite a while, they weren't making it anymore, this was back in, oh gosh, I want to say 2014 maybe? And even then, you couldn't really find them anywhere. I was getting my boxes off of eBay, where I'm sure they were marked up something crazy, but that didn't stop me spending a lot on it. Here I have my boxes of the TCG that I still have. I'm using a few of them to store my spares and my extras and my duplicates. I wanted to get them out though to show you just how many boxes I bought. It's a bit ridiculous. Anyway, now with that out of the way, I'll show you another couple of things I have. They released this special binder where you could store cards and I do have a few of my spares in here. The reason I'm not putting my main collection in here is because it is very small and you'll soon see that there is no way in hell my main collection could fit in here. Now this is my main folder. It is huge, like honestly this thing is heavy as all hell. I have uh, one of my giant cards on here. It came with a D triple pack. There are two D triple packs. I only managed to get the second one. The first one I couldn't find anywhere. I'm still low key on the lookout for it, but I don't like my chances. If I couldn't find it way back then, I'm sure I couldn't find it now. But yeah, this is a giant card and I did get another one. There are three versions that I'm aware of for each D triple pack. So here I have two from the second set. If I turn the card around, you'll see it's got the same card back and everything. There are little cards that actually match these big cards too, which is pretty cool. You might be wondering how many sets are in this trading card game and there are 18, I think. There are 11 regular sets four special sets, the two D triple packs, and the special thanks set, which was the last one that they did. Now with the exception of the D triple packs, all cards are random in packs. It's pretty similar to the standard trading card game. In a pack, you will always see one rare or above card. In a box, you will always have a certain number of higher rarity cards, but outside of that, it is all random. So you can get multiple boxes from a set and still be nowhere near completing it, which is very frustrating. The whole reason for me filming this video is I had a person comment over on my old video asking if I could go through and show more because you can hardly find them anymore and the fact that I have such a huge collection it seems a shame just keeping this all to myself. So my plan is to rig up my camera so you guys are looking down on my folder while I just flick through them. So yeah let me sort out my camera and I'll be back in a minute with my folder. Okay, so here's my folder. I'm going to flip through so you can see my collection. Now you're going to see gaps because my cards are put in order. So um, yeah, just so you know what that's all about. These are my singles, so I do have spares of quite a few of these. Righto, so um, this is set one. I've only got the commons from this set. Same for the next few <laughs> sets, but um, it's still better than nothing. Now the first few sets, 
are from early stages in the manga. So if you're familiar with the anime, you'll recognize a few of these characters, these scenes, just how they look. It's really, really cool. And it's important to say too that this art is from the manga. It's a lot more detailed. It's all drawn by Hoshino. It's beautiful stuff. Honestly, these cards are gorgeous. And also, there is an anime trading card game, but um, in my opinion, the cards are really subpar in comparison to these. They look really boring. It's obviously using screen caps from the anime. So yeah, now we're moving on to set two. This is another set where I only have commons for, but better than nothing. I'm glad I can say I have some cards from these early sets, considering how old they are and how hard they are to find. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful art. I'll probably keep flicking through reasonably quickly for these first few, just because I have this huge folder to go through and I'm conscious of how long this video will end up being. But yeah, love, love, love these cards. Now we're on to set three. Once again, I only really have commons from this set. I wish I had more, but oh, one can dream. Moving through, moving through. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Seriously. These cards are gorgeous. If you are a fan of D. Grey Man, you will surely understand what I mean because oh, I I love these so much. <laughs> Their art is amazing. Okay, now we're on to set four. Once again, only commons lots of gaps and you can see through to other sets and other pages that's how big the gaps are but oh well love 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 them <laughs> love you drawing on Alan's face is the best thing well that's the end of set four now I don't actually have any cards from set five so these are set six and from this point onwards you'll be seeing a lot more cards You'll be seeing higher rarity cards. So, um, yeah. In fact, this one here is a rare, and I'm not sure if it shows up because I'm zoomed out quite fast so you can see both pages. But these rares have little stars on them, which are really, really cool. Now, you also will see gold rares in here. They are shiny holographic cards that have like a rainbow effect on them. You'll also see silver rare cards which I would kind of describe as having a flat silver foil effect. Really really cool. The best thing about these higher rarity cards is they take away the border and they make the art just pop even more. Now at the end of a set, there are always what they refer to as KMRs or Kamui Recommended Rares. And there's generally two. There's one that's the characters in their normal style. And then there's a second version where it's like chibi-fied, which is super, super cute. So in this set, I was lucky to get the chibi Kamui Recommended Rare, but obviously I'm missing this one. And the thing with ratios for these sets in a box, you either get a Kamui Recommended Rare or a Crown Rare and a Innocence Rare, I think is what it was called. In early sets, there were only a couple of Crown Rares, a couple of Innocence Rares, so it wasn't too difficult to complete sets. But as they went on, they introduced more Crown Rares, more Innocence Rares, which made it near impossible to complete them, which was really sad. This here is set 7. It's one of the sets I have quite a few cards for and on the front here you will see I have a crown rare. Now the crown rares are foiled like the gold rares. They have that rainbow shine through them but they also have a gold border which is really really cool. Now this one here is actually an innocence rare. I'm hoping I'm not going through this too fast. I suppose you can always pause the video if you want to have a better look. 
And here I have a Camille recommended rare. And now we're on to set eight. So in set eight, I have a Kanda crown rare, which is super cool. I'm missing the innocence rare that goes up here, but that's okay. I love this gold rare of Kanda and of Lovely. It is so cool. And actually, this here is a innocence rare. I might actually take it out so I can show you what I mean by the texture pattern, because they are really something else. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but if I get it to catch the light right, you might. Now it has this texture over top that has a rainbow effect. It's super, super cool, but it actually has a rose cross built into it. So when you move it in the light, you can see the rose cross and it is beautiful. And it's textured too, which is just, Amazing. I love these cards so much. Moving on though, <laughs> I'd better keep going to get through. Cross just looking super handsome up there. <laughs> and that is that. I don't have any Kamui recommended rares for this set, but I do have a couple of random not for sale promos down the bottom that don't actually go with the set. I've put them here just for lack of somewhere else to put them. There were a few cards that were released as bonuses. Some of them came along with different books, that sort of thing. They're really hard to find and generally you have to pay for like the book or whatever it was to get them. I know there were people out there who were just buying them to get the cards. I know I did that with at least one. but. Yeah, uh, and I forgot to mention as well that these here are random box toppers. The regular sets had these. They're predetermined, you always get the same one. It's generally the box art, which is pretty cool. Now, moving on, this is set nine. Now I have a crown rare here, and this is a innocence rare. I'm not going to bring this one out to show you, but it's got that same rose cross foiling. Really, really cool. Moving along, I have another crown rare and another innocence rare. This one is Lavi, obviously. It also has that texture on it, super, super cool. And I did, in fact, open this twice. I've since traded it, but um, yeah, fun fact. <laughs> really frustrating when there are so many crown rares and you open the same one twice, like what on earth is going on? In fact, the cards I'm missing in this set are pretty much just crown rare, innocent rare, and Kamui recommended rares. It gets quite frustrating as you go on, especially when you open cards like this twice and you're still missing these crown rares. It's so frustrating, but it's the breaks. And the RNG for these packs is not <laughs> the best. Like you can buy many, many boxes and just be out of luck for a lot. So yeah, in fact, that is Lena Lee's crown rare that I'm missing. <laughs> And this is Cross's crown rare that I'm missing. So chances are I will never encounter them, but oh well. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what these ones are. I have a feeling it must be another crown rare. I'm not too sure. It's possible they're gold rares actually. It's been so long guys since I've opened these and since I've been actively collecting them so my memory is not too flash. Moving on, you can see the box topper down there, that's the extra I have at the bottom. And we're moving on to set 10, probably the set I have the most cards from. It's the one I had four booster boxes of and I'm pretty sure I had a fifth at one point and I've traded from it too. So yeah. And even though I've bought that many boxes from it, I'm still missing quite a few. It's really sad. But at least I have Alan's Innocence Rare, which is really cool. I'm missing his Crown Rare though, which is super sad. But I have Kanda's Innocence Rare. Missing his Crown Rare though. <sighs> but I have Larvies because, you know, I have lots of Larvie for some reason. I don't mind. He's cool. <laughs> missing Lena Lee's Crown Rare. Damn it. But whatever moving on oh, now this is cross's crown rare and i've actually found someone who's willing to trade it to me so i'm super excited about that i'll be filling that spot 
eventually. Um, and the rest, I think I've got pretty much everything. I'm missing the Chibi Kamui recommended rare though. That should go here. But I have got the other one there. Now, the next set is set 11, and they changed a few things for this set. The Innocence Rares no longer have that really cool texture on them, which is stupid because it was the best thing about those cards. And they also changed up the foiling for the Gold Rares. I mean, they still kind of have that rainbow shine, but the border is different. They changed things a bit. And to be honest, I prefer the older ones much more than what they've done with these but it is what it is. The Innocence Rares are now IRRs. I'm not quite sure what that stands for, but it's a thing. And the Crown Rares are still just CRs. So yeah. So I have a Innocence Rare up here, a Crown Rare here, Innocence Rare, Crown Rare. It's pretty standard otherwise. There tends to be one for each character. So I'm actually missing Larbies this time, still missing Lena Lee's. I don't think I have any Lena Lee crown rares, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Moving along, <laughs> missing Cross's one here, but that's fine. <laughs> that's still really cool. You've probably noticed that the ones at the back always have these white borders and I'm sure it means something for the game but I've never actually figured out or found out how to play the game. <laughs> I've solely collected them so if anyone out there knows how the game works and knows why these white border ones exist or <laughs> what they do, I'm assuming maybe they're tech cards, I have no idea and I cannot read Japanese. They're all in Japanese by the way too, I should have said that earlier. Moving along. I actually have both Kamui recommended rares for the set, so you can see they have the regular art one and then the chibi version. The chibi version is actually overlaid on top of the art of the other one. You might be able to see, it's really really cool. Now this ends the regular sets. The sets from this point onwards are special sets and there are four of them. Now the first special set is the one I have the least cards from. As you can probably tell from the fact that it starts here, there's big jumps between these cards. This one is number 20, 21. That one's actually 18, so I'm not quite sure why that's there. But this is 35 and then 36. I'll go through anyway though and show you what I've got. These kind of follow a similar pattern where they'll focus on one character, have a few cards, with them in it and then move on to a different character. So they generally start with Ellen and then move through to Kanda and the rest is kind of random. Lena Lee is often near the top as is Lavi because you know they're the main characters, it makes sense. The thing about these cards too, they reuse a lot of the art from the older cards. Special set one, from what I know, uses art from the regular sets one and two, I think. Something like that anyway. So it's quite cool because I missed out on a lot of those cards from set 1 and set 2 and set 3 and 4 and actually I don't even have any cards from set 5 so the fact that the special cards cover them is really cool. Now the special cards are actually all marked as rare or above. Kind of random but pretty cool. All of the rare cards have some sort of foiling which is also really cool. Right moving on. <laughs> I definitely recognize some of these from the earlier sets because I'm pretty sure I had some of those as commons. I love this arc. <laughs> it's really cool seeing them as cards. Yeah, moving on to special set two. The cool thing about the special sets as well is that they have the characters dressed up in alternate outfits. Really cool, you wouldn't see this art elsewhere. So here's Ellen and Kanda in their street gear, and I'm pretty sure Kanda's actually holding a helmet and he's next to a motorcycle, which is awesome. And they then go and have the Innocence Rares with the textures on them. Super, super cool. I've got a Ellen one and a Tiki one, and this one as well, whose name I can't remember. I'm a terrible person. I want to say Divot. Anyway, 
Uh, moving on, the next part of these sets are always these triptych cards. So three of them makes a picture. There are regular versions and then chibi versions of the same things. So this first one is like a beach scene and you can see the chibi version over here. <laughs> this one, they're in like a spa I think, having a pool party. <laughs> And this one, they're playing with fireworks, which is really, really cool. And the chibis are super cute. <laughs> the next ones, uh, there's more silver rares. Then they have some gold rares scattered through before getting into the regular rares. And all of these rares have shiny stars on them which is really cool. In my mind though, even though they're all marked as rares, I see them kind of as commons because all of them are rares and they're so easy to get. Like you'd open a pack and they would all say they're rares. It seemed a bit of a weird choice, but I'm not complaining when it comes to shiny, sparkly cards. Miss Miranda is a teacher too. She's so cute. <laughs> Right, now I have quite a few of these. They have chibi ones scattered through, which is really cool. <laughs> Love it so much. Missing a random one here, not quite sure what that is, but probably just RNG messing with me. Now, the thing with these sets too is there are a lot more cards in them than the regular sets. From memory, the regular sets have about 64-ish cards, and the special sets have about 114. So, um, yeah, lots of cards. At the end, they always have these white ones that are silver rares, and <laughs> they're generally a bit of a laugh, so, yeah. Moving on, this is special set three again with the casual clothing at the beginning which is super cool i've got an innocence rare there of kanda which i love there's one here of cross and from memory is it cloud nine or claude nine i can't really remember they're there and cross is wasted on the couch then we have uh this other guy here whose name i also can't remember because it's been too long and i'm terrible moving on um here are the triptych cards Again, regular ones, chibi ones. I love the Snow Fight one. And I'm so happy I was able to complete both the regular and chibi versions. So, so cool. <laughs> Moving on, more casual clothes. Neely looking super cute. And then into the rares. And just like the other ones, the rares have star sparkly foiling on them, which is really cool. And I'll sneak my way through. I have quite a few from the set from memory. I have most of the rares. So yeah. And again, at the end, these really funny random cards. Pretty great. Now, the next special set is special set four and it is the set I got the most close to completing. This is the only card I'm missing and it's really frustrating because it's an Innocence Rare or an IRR. Now this set is one of those newer sets where they did different things with the borders, different things with the rares. So the Innocence Rares have the Rose Cross on them still but they have gold foiling instead and it's not textured which is kind of sad. So annoyed that I'm missing this one though. Honestly, I've bought so many boxes from this set too. There is no use me getting another one just to get this card because chances are I won't get it. And it's so sad because I'm so close. And considering the amount that I've spent on this and the amount of time it's taken to put it all together, the fact that I haven't completed at least one set is kind of depressing. Whatever. Okay, I'll move through. You can see the different borders going on here, but they still have the trip stitches with the regular and then chibi styles. Super cute. Love it. <laughs> there are all the Noah playing golf because why not? <laughs> um, more different interesting outfits. Rory with a rose. And of course, Lavi's wearing a vest because why not? And Kanda in his white suit. <laughs> And then it's moving through the rears, same as before. I have quite a few spares from this set as well. Just because I bought quite a few from it. <laughs> and then of 
of course at the end they have the silver rare cards they are a bit of a laugh yeah okay now this set here is the D triple pack 2 all of the cards in this pack are predetermined so when you buy the set it comes complete and you're always going to get the same stuff so I'll flick through it regardless but just know that I didn't need to do much work to complete this one it comes that way it still has the crown rares which is really cool I don't think it has innocence rares but they're still really cool cards and I'm glad I was able to snag it and you can see there that that little card is the same as the big card I have but in tiny form and in fact this card here is the one that I have on the front of this folder and the other one that I could have found is a big version of this card anyway moving through um this is where that set ends and I have a few random cards, I think one, two, three, four, from the first D triple pack. I got these as singles on eBay. A bit silly considering when you buy the set you get everything. But considering the fact that I wasn't able to find it anywhere, I was happy to at least get these. This card is a random not for sale promo that I got with a book. Now, the last set I'm going to go through now is the special thanks box. Now, all of these cards I got through a trade from a friend. Back when I was collecting, there was one other person who was there along with me, and they managed to snag this box, which is really, really cool. All of the cards in here are really random. They are in different outfits. You can see Ellen and Lavi there, like Sherlock Holmes detectives. And here, <laughs> Kanda and Lavi all sporty. You've got the Earl and Ellen dressed up in Santa outfits. It's honestly super random, but I love it. It's really, really cool. So yeah, it's awesome. You have Ellen in a Tim Campy onesie. Like, how cute is that? And then everyone in a rabbit onesie. <laughs> Oh, it's so, so cute. The art is random, but it's all official, which makes it that much cooler. Really, really cool. And look, there's Bilina Lee. <laughs> so cute and lovey in his rabbit onesie again. And we are nearing the end. That is the last page. And in fact, at the end of my folder, you can see one of the anime trading cards. And surely you'll agree that it looks shit <laughs> in comparison to these other beautiful pieces of art. And I'm not quite sure what this one is, but I think I got it in a random collection of cards that I bought off eBay. Anyway, with that, we're at the end of my folder. So let me close it back up. I need to do this a few pages at a time because if I'm not careful the pages will come right off the binder and then I'll be left with having to put them back on which is not what I want to be doing right now but yeah so that is that I'll quickly go through my little folder just to show you some of the spares I have of different cards as you can see I've actually got two spares of that silver rare which is kind of cool and same goes for that one and that's actually a gold rare so that's pretty cool but um yeah so if you are a collector of these cards and you could help me out with any of my gaps i would love to hear from you and of course i'll be more than happy to return the favor and trade with you to help your collection out but yeah that's that so um i might leave the video here thank you so much for watching i won't bother spinning the camera back up because that sounds like work and you can hear me fine so um yeah i'll leave it here thank you so much for watching it has been lovely and i will catch you in another video sometime soon Holy shit guys, what am I doing with my life?